this time I will explain each literals and how can we use it. First, of course, this is the most commonly used literals. We have integer. If we will talk about integer in your mathematics subject, integer will only accept or the integer is actually whole numbers, am I right? So integers or integer literals are used to represent specific integer values. It can be expressed in three different bases. We have octal, we have decimal, we also have hexadecimal, which is base 16. We have an example here, like this one, this one, and this one. Okay? A um, floating point literal, so it appears in several forms like this. And typical form makes use of digits in a decimal point, like this one. If we will talk, if we will compare um, float and double, float contains a, a lesser um, memory allocation compared to double. Okay, so if um, if you will use float or if you will ask input from the user that contains this type of um, this type of digits, it's better. For example, lesser decimal places lang. It's better if you will use float compared to double. Okay. Boolean literal. Um, only two Boolean literals um, exist. We have true and false, representing the Boolean concepts of true and false, respectively. And that's so simple. We have string literal, a um, sequence of characters within double quotes. Again, when you say character, um, it's actually only letter. If it's a combination of characters and it contains... Um, many letters now that means that is a string okay and also you will notice that because it's enclosed with double quotation the characters can be escape um, escape sequences for example hello world like this as long as it's double quotation that means that um, those are string literals okay but if you can see something like this um, slash n the meaning of that is next line, okay? Character literal um, come into two forms which both use the single quote as a um, delimiter. Um, its first form places the literal character between single quotes. So basically like this, as simple as that, okay? data types oh, we need to discuss about data types because again um, this is very important since we already discussed about literals naman uh, this time we need to dig in or we need to go deeper uh, deeper with the data types uh, there are two data types first we have a simple and the composite data type um, simple is actually built in or a primitive java data types that we can use when we say composite created by the programmer using simple types, arrays, classes, and inter, uh, interfaces. So these are the um, types of data types where you're the one who, who, is, uh, who is creating it. Okay. When we say primitive data types in Java, we have these ones. Okay, we have these. From boolean, from car, or character, by, short, int, long, double, and float. For boolean data type, one bit wide and takes on the values true or false. Default value is actually false. It cannot be cast to a number or any other type. Example, boolean result equals true. So basically, if you have this um, declaration or initialization in your program, the meaning of this one, you are assigning true to your identifier or your variable name result. And you are using a Boolean data type. Let's proceed. A car data type or a character. 
represents a 16-bit Unicode character. Um, must have its literal enclosed in single quotes, just like what I keep on mentioning earlier. It uses the following notations, for example, like this, like that. This is a tab, specific Unicode character, and all. Integer literal, or sorry, integer data type. So, so we have from byte to long. If we will use int, it contains this minimum value going to the maximum value. And the size of a byte, it's 4. So if we'll convert that one into bits, 8 times 4 is equivalent to 32. Yeah, I think it's correct. Yeah, it's 32 bits, right? So careful in using um, data types because, again, it will get a memory allocation. Okay, proceed. Floating. We will talk about floating. We have this one. Float, we have 32 bit. And we have double 64 bit. This one, this is what I said earlier. If you will use float, it can only use um, 4 bytes of your memory. If you will use double, it contains 8. So actually, um, it's the double of the float. 